We hear stupid myths about young people all the time, like millennials and Gen Z want it all without having to work for it. Or that they too could afford a home if only they bought fewer cell phones and lattes and yes, avocado toast. Those stereotypes bug me so much, I friggin' want to smash avocado. Which is why Gen Squeeze is in the myth smashing business. The reality is, young people today work just as hard as previous generations. But hard work doesn't pay off like it used to. They go to school longer, pay more for the privilege to land jobs that pay less, only to face runaway home prices and childcare that costs another rent-sized payment. These are not individual problems. They are symptoms of a broken system that is harming younger and future generations, leaving an irresponsible legacy of unpaid government and environmental bills. The myth of the lazy millennial is shifting blame, avoiding hard truths that we are breaking solidarity between generations. And the blame game is shored up by another myth, that seniors are poor. And yes, some of them are, and it's a problem we have to fix. But Statistics Canada has showed us that seniors have the lowest rates of low income of any age group in the country. And so the myth that seniors are poorer than younger Canadians actually harkens back to a time when Twister and the Beatles were all the rage. And since then, though, we have really reduced seniors' poverty. We've invested in medical care and in public pensions. And on top of that, many seniors benefit enormously from rising home prices. They've gained wealth by simply living in the homes they bought decades ago. But unfortunately, this zombie power of the myth that most seniors are poor, it has real economic stakes. It's shaping where governments invest the next tax dollar. And that's why we're more likely to hear how important it is to lift seniors out of poverty rather than say families with kids. And it's why companies and communities are more likely to offer deals and discounts to seniors, but then we don't have a single parent or a student day at the local drugstore. We need our governments to act as urgently now for young people as they did to reduce poverty for seniors back in the day. We've seen we can take lemons and turn it into lemonade. Now is the time to smash avocados and make toast. Hit subscribe and check out our podcast for more hard truths and to learn how Gen Squeeze is a force for generational fairness.